User-Generated Content. Probably my absolute favorite feature in games is the possibility to create your own characters, minigames and levels. If you look at the best selling video game of all time, Minecraft trumps all other games and that game is basically a glamorized level editor. While there are many other reasons, this is the main reason why Trackmania is my favorite racing game. The game has three big in-game editors for users to create their own content. You can paint new car skins, you can jump into the replay editor and create stunning montages and of course there's the map editor with endless possibilities for new racetracks. The popular track sharing site trackmania.exchange to this date counts almost 30,000 tracks. You're never gonna finish all of them. And today, for a 10,000 subscriber special, thank you very much, I want you to help me add even more tracks in my first mapping competition. I have built over 100 peculiar ice maps over the last year and they need your help. But let's take a step back. Why the hell did I do this and what do I need you for? Every three months a new official campaign releases in Trackmania and starting with the second one I had a funny idea for a meme campaign. Already over one year ago I set out to recreate the fall 2020 campaign into ice only. With no knowledge of custom blocks I had it in and just replaced some of the blocks that had ice equivalents. 25 scuffed maps were born. <laughs> After winning Virtual's TMGL identity competition, here we go. This identity features ice turnarounds. You have to turn the car this way to slow down enough that you can actually make it across these turns. So, pretty cool trick. Glaze it! Glaze it takes the W! Three years club edition! and earning a code for a 3 year Trackmania Club Edition, I also had a prize pool to give. Surprisingly many players had a lot of fun discovering the ice maps, some even taking this competition very serious from the start. I created a discord channel, many ice enjoyers came together including Nizor. We teamed up and together we learned everything needed to create some super optimized custom ice blocks and leveled up the quality of the next campaign, Icy Winter 2021. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! no. For the first time people also donated to the prize pool and we had 150 euros to give out. Ice God Mika being one of them from the very beginning. After crafting, the best way to create the ice blocks, every single block still had to be made. In total, I'm pretty sure we spent well over a hundred hours on the custom blocks alone. The winning records of Icy Winter was the first video that hit 100k views on my channel and with it, more people donated to the prize pool doubling the previous one to 300 euros. Welcome to Icy Spring for the third time already. We gather to challenge ourselves, find out if all maps are possible, discover new strats on maps that weren't supposed to be ice only and chase the feeling of eventually sliding through a map perfectly. The season went great, many streamers tried out the challenge and the majority heard about the Icy campaign for the first time. And Mika won for the third time in a row. Me and all the Icy campaign fans in my discord were so hyped to see the traction, all of us hoping for another doubling of the prize pool. Could this project that initially started as a meme become one of the biggest ice competitions in the game?
Well, instead of 600 euros, which would be a doubling, we collected about 2,600 euros, creating the fourth biggest prize pool in the entire game. On funny ice conversion of all things. And Mika won for the fourth time. The fifth season, Icy Fall 2021, is going on right now. And finally, today I will do what many people ask me to do and release the custom ice blocks on item.exchange. You see, the conversion maps are great. They always spark my curiosity and a little bit of my competitive spirit. The question of how will the tracks that weren't supposed to be full ice drive after the conversion drives me and many other players to discover the tracks once more each season. Some of the tracks by chance turn out great, others not so much. And that is where you come in. In my icy mapping competition, I want you to help me fix one of the icy campaign maps. Take a section out of any of the campaign maps, it has to be long enough to be recognizable, and build a map with it. That's the only rule. You can make it full ice or mixed style, you can use custom blocks, build your own ideas around it, or just get rid of the engine of blocks. Just use a recognizable section, then do whatever you want to make it a good track. In a more normal sense. You have until the 7th of December to send your map and replay in. I don't have an insane prize pool like for the Icy campaign, but I'm putting 30 euros out of my own pocket on the line for the winner map, which we will determine on stream on the 7th of December. If you want to participate, all details are in my Discord, link below. So that is my vision for this competition. I hope in the end that we have a lot of good ice maps that we maybe can have a competition on in the future. We'll see how it goes. I never thought that this project or my channel will grow as it did and I already can't wait for next season's discovery. If you want to help my odd icy adventure, I would greatly appreciate a donation to the prize pool of Icy Winter 2022, which will start in January. Link below. If you are thinking about participating in the mapping competition, keep an eye out for another video where I will explain how to exactly use the custom blocks and even create more if you maybe need some more. Yeah. About 84% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you are one of the 16% that pushed me over the 10,000 mark, thank you very much. A video about the results of this mapping competition will be released afterwards, of course, so if you're not subscribed, maybe do that now. See you then. Thank you for watching. Maybe check out my first icy campaign results in the meantime, how it all started. Goodbye.